to Game Update 14 in early April, several big changes were made to a major part of the gameplay, the crops and animal farms. For casual players, min-maxers and beauty builders, this is an extremely important video. With the addition of the Hacienda, the Fertilizer, the new scenarios and a few of the other updates, these changes basically went unnoticed. There were three big changes and just the first one has been noticed by a few people. Every time I was asking someone on the Anno Discord or Reddit, they didn't know about these. So here we are, I want to make sure you all see these major changes. Let's cover first the small change that was made to Animal Farms, which again is the one that many people have already seen. In the past, you had to put your silo next to the building like this. Now, you can put it anywhere in the radius of the farm. Of course, you can't put it outside, but being able to put it somewhere else, for example here, does provide you with a lot of opportunities to make it more realistic, to make it more optimized if needed. So again, before you had to put it next to the main building, like this or like this, for example, now you can put it anywhere you want. But more importantly now, let's talk about the crop farms. There were a few changes and I can guarantee you the last one is going to blow up your mind. So once again, let's recap. In the past, you had to put your tractor barn next to the main building. Also, in the past, you had to start your farms, your modules, these modules here, filled from the main building. They had to touch the main building first. With the game update, we obviously also got the fertilizer silo that you can see here. You can still put the silo and the tractor next to the main building, but you can also put them next to each other. So for example, here we have the main building, then the silo, and then the tractor. You could have the tractor here, then the silo here. So that's the first change. The tractor or the silo doesn't have to be connected to the main building. They have to be connected to something else. For example, here it's connected to the silo. Second big change, the field, the modules. You can of course still start them from the farm, but now you can also start them from the silo or from the tractor. That obviously opens a lot of possibilities for again beauty builders but also min maxers. For the beauty builders you can start playing around with this layout, right? Have something that can be a lot more natural, a lot more beautiful, especially with your farms uh, being able to start anywhere, especially with your fields being able to start anywhere connected to any of those things. And for the min maxer, it also helps a lot because it will enable you to do things like this. In the past, this farm here would have been basically blocked. I would have had two fields here and that's it. Now, I can start the fields over here and don't have a problem. Similarly, this farm would have needed to go through here. But now, I don't need that. I can have the farm start here from the silo. So thanks to this, you can fit obviously more of this building inside one trade union because again you can fit them in corners like this where it wasn't possible before now before i blow your mind with the last change don't hesitate to smash the like button or to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it really does help a lot the channel it also helps youtube to know which video to suggest to you in the future if you're an anno fan or a gaming fan okay and here it is, this is the big last change. It doesn't blow your mind, I'm sorry, I haven't delivered. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below, but at least it completely blew my mind. As we said, in the past, you had to put your tractor bomb connected to the main buildings. Now you can connect it to your silo, but that's not all. You can actually connect it to the field, which means you can have the farm on one side, the field in the middle, the tractor completely on one other side, the silo, even on the other side, and they don't even have to be connected by a road. You can see there's a road here, then it's a different road here that connects those ones. They do, of course, still need to be connected by a road because you do need to deliver uh, here the fertilizer and here you need to deliver the fuel, right? So they still need a road, but it doesn't even have to be the same road. Again, I hope you can see how important this is both for min maxers and beauty builders. Obviously for beauty builders, it opens even more options for you to create amazingly beautiful uh, and realistic 
forms and for min maxer it's creating a completely new meta here right because if before you had to put all of these buildings you had to put the main building and the tractor barn and of course now the silo too inside the trade union right they all had to be i mean the main building at least but you had to take space for all of these buildings now you can take all of these silos and tractor barns out you can put them on the outside you know over here over there over here in this case which frees up a lot of space in the trade union to put more farms and while this is going to be very useful in the old world in my opinion this is even more useful in the new world because in the new world on top of the trade union radius you also have the hacienda radius now right which if you don't have a lot of population in particular can be quite small and therefore with that small radius sometimes it's hard to fit a lot of those farms with also the tractors and the silo inside the ranch you don't have to now you can put the farms the field and then on the outskirts on the outside put your tractors and silo this will also enable better management of the warehouses because you can have warehouses here focusing on your farms and then other warehouses here focusing on the fertilizer to be honest, I haven't found out yet what this means, what is exactly the new perfect layout, but I know it's going to change completely the old ones. Again, if you've liked this video, don't hesitate to press the like button. It really does help a lot to share this with more Anno fans to make sure that all Anno fans out there know that this big change has happened. And also, if you have any questions, thoughts, suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. I read and answer them all, and I'm really always glad to hear your thoughts. And lastly, I hope to see you next time.